In an earlier video, we looked at the Black Storm series of bullpup conversion kits for AK pattern rifles. Black Storm have also developed an interesting standalone stock for the GP25 underbarrel grenade launcher called Defender. The GP25 is a 40mm grenade launcher designed in the late 1970s by the Small Arms Design Bureau at Tula. It's an underbarrel grenade launcher designed to slide onto standard AK rifles. Its ammunition uses a high-low pressure system and it has a range of up to 400 meters. This video by the Ukrainian Territorial Defense Force demonstrates how the GP25 is normally mounted onto a rifle. The partial impetus for this is said to be that the Black Storm rifle kits aren't able to support the grenade launcher, so a standalone stock into which they can be mounted was developed. The most interesting feature of the Defender GP25 stock is that it has a recoil mitigation system. This appears to be a strong spring in the telescoping stock tube, which acts as a buffer. The stock kit is made up of a telescoping stock with butt pad into which the grenade launcher is mounted, just as you would onto a rifle. A forward vertical grip can be attached by a pair of clamshell metal stampings, which allow the grip piece to be centered and held in place by two cross nuts. There's also a press fit pistol grip extension for the GP25's short grip to help improve the weapon's ergonomics. Blackstorm lists the stock without the launcher as weighing 200 grams, while the Defender with the GP25 installed is listed as weighing 500 grams or 1.1 pounds. Blackstorm sell the stock for 5,950 rivnia, around $162. For some units transitioning to NATO caliber rifles like the M4A1, the MSBS Grot, FNFNC, and F2000 amongst others, the ability to use the existing GP25 as a standalone weapon has proven valuable as the GP25 can't be mounted onto Western rifles, but with ammunition for the grenades still plentiful, they can continue to be used. The earliest imagery I could find of the Defender in the field dates to the 22nd of April 2022, when Russian reporter Wargonzo posted a short video showing a Defender captured by separatist DPR troops near Mariupol. Спасибо, укропы, за подарки. Это под левшу был сделан? Не, можно, тут можно и лево, можно и право. Вообще для правши. The DPR soldier examining it notes that the weapon doesn't seem to work and also compares it to the GP25 fitted on its own AKS-74. In May, a good clear photograph of the GP25 in a Defender stock was shared, shown fitted with a sling. We can also just see the crest of Blackstorm on the pistol grip extension. And in mid-May, Ukrainian operators shared a video of the Defender being fired at a range. Also in May, a short video of a Defender kit being fitted to a launcher was shared. This particular example apparently requiring some hand fitting to the sheet metal pieces that attach the forward grip. A number of other standalone adapters for the GP25 have also been seen in the field. In late May, this example of a simpler adapter was shared online, featuring a rigid stock onto which the grenade launcher can be fitted. Simple adapters like this may be craft made in the field or manufactured by commercial companies. In June, a short video was shared of a Ukrainian soldier firing several high angle rounds from a GP25 mounted in a Defender stock. We can see that the sight has been set 
to its highest elevation. Ukrainian operators shared another photograph of a GP-25 in a Defender stock in September. And later in the month, the North Side Group shared a photograph of a GP-25 in a Defender at what appears to be a range. A Russian operator shared a photo of two standalone stocks for the GP-25. The first in a rigid type stock, similar to that seen in the photo from May. I haven't yet been able to ascertain who produces that particular type of stock. From the photos, it's clear that the butt pad is wider than on the Ukrainian design, no doubt because of the lack of recoil mitigation. And the second stock next to it, of course, appears to be a Black Storm Defender. On the 30th of November, the Belarusian volunteer unit, the Kalinowski Regiment, shared a video demonstrating a Defender, showing how it's loaded, fired and carried, noting that it is designed to destroy enemy manpower located in trenches and open terrain. In early January, Assistance Group, a German group active in Ukraine, shared some photographs of a loadout for operating in urban and woodland environments, and the GP-25 in a Defender stock featured in both photos. At the beginning of February 2023, a video was shared featuring an operator with Russia's SOBR Granite. He fires a couple of rounds from a GP-25 in a standalone stock. It's difficult to make out, but it appears to be a Defender, though it's not fitted with a front grip. The Labart Ukrainian Special Operations Forces unit recently shared a number of montage videos of operations around Bakhmut. In them, one operator loads and fires a Defender several times. The Defender in the clip lacks the pistol grip extension that comes as part of the kit. On the 2nd of March, a member of the Forward Observations Group shared a photo of his various weapons, including a Black Storm Defender. Finally, most recently, a short video from the right-wing Russian anti-Putin group, the Russian Volunteer Corps, filmed during an apparent raid into Bryansk, featured one of the group's leaders with the defender slung at his side. It's unclear just how many of these Black Storm Defender stock kits are being used by Ukrainian personnel, but they do continue to regularly appear in imagery from the field. While unsurprisingly they appear to be favoured by units armed with Western rifles, they are also being used by combatants armed with weapons which could mount a GP-25, perhaps indicating a preference for using the launcher as a standalone weapon. Thanks to the guys at Streaking Delilah, War Noir and Abraxas Spa for their help with imagery for this video. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you found this video interesting, please consider supporting us via Patreon or YouTube memberships, where we have a number of perks available including early access to all of our videos. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.